Hey friends, on today's quick tech tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to insert a table of contents in your Apple Pages document. It's actually pretty easy, let's do it right now. Okay, as you can see, I've got a basic Apple Pages document opened up here. It's blank on the first page. And you can do this a number of different ways. You can either start your document or you can start with this table of contents and then have the document or table of contents auto update anytime you add a new item that needs to be placed there. So let's go ahead and start with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to the little insert menu. I'm gonna click this and we're gonna come down here to table of contents. Now you can either do this for a section or you can do it for the whole document. In this example, we're gonna use it the whole document. So I'm gonna click on this. Now, as you can see, we've got a little dialog box that opens up that says, hey, there's nothing in here because you don't have specific paragraph styles set up yet. So what we're going to do is gonna come over here to the right-hand side, and we need to customize the styles or the type of text that you want this table of contents to recognize as items that you want it to populate with. So if I click on the top part here for the entire document, you can also use this to actually just focus on a section. Again, we're gonna be focusing on the entire document and we're gonna click on customize styles. Now this is gonna open up and this is gonna let us select what types of text that we want to be automatically inserted into the table of contents. So in this case, it's just heading, but we can also use subtitle or title. So again, take note of this, because what this now means is if we want it to show up here, we have to use the heading item as our text that we insert into the document. So I'm gonna come back over here, and what we're gonna do is actually just hit the return key a couple of times, and that's gonna allow us to move down the sheet just a touch. And then I'm gonna come over here and make sure you're on the format function over here. You have a document or format, menu, we're gonna make sure we're on the format menu. We'll come down here to the text, and obviously you can see this defaults to body. If I use this down arrow, we can then select heading. Remember, that is what the table of contents is going to see as the type of text you want to insert here. So let's click on heading, and then let's go ahead and just do test, and then if we hit the enter key again, we're gonna go back to body over in this area. And so again, you can just write the body of this specific section, and then maybe we'll hit the enter key a couple more times. And now we wanna start a new section that we want to show up. Let's hit that heading again, and let's do test two. All right, as you can see, as I'm doing this, the table of contents is automatically adjusting and filling out based off of those styles of text. It's also giving us the associated page where this specific text exists. So again, that's a super, super basic example to show you how things work. Play with it, make sure it works within your document. Again, if you've already produced your document, all you need to do is figure out what type of text, whether a heading or title or subtitle you used here, come up here and make sure you have that table of contents selected for that style of font or that type of text so that it auto populates. All right, friends, if this has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Let's us know we're making helpful videos. Stay tuned, we're making a ton more of these pages tutorial videos. In fact, you may want to subscribe because those are being released really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again on the next one.